What's up, 47 Brethren? It is your boy Kid Rex here with a discussion video. Now, this is a little bit different from what I'm usually doing, but um, sometimes I'm going to be putting out these type of videos where I just discuss certain things and uh, it could be, you know, just me discussing things or I could be with somebody else discussing things. But that will be, you know, for future videos when I'm discussing things with other people. So right now, I just wanted to discuss like a couple things, and those two things that I wanted to talk about are YouTube and Cartoon Network 2017, basically. So starting off, um, YouTube. YouTube has been in a weird place this year with the whole demonetization fiasco and uh, excuse me uh, people losing advertisement for all their videos it's ridiculous um, I don't know what they're trying to achieve you know but you're killing off a whole lot of channels and even though some of my videos have gotten demonetized and it's like why there's no nudity there's no you know violence now sure there is a little cussing in it I'm not gonna lie to you but I mean it, what video on YouTube doesn't have cussing I mean, <laughs> you feel me? Like, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know why they're going so far out of their way to implement this kind of thing, but it sucks. And there are a lot of big time channels, too, who've been affected by it. Uh, one example is SML, Super Mario Logan, and it's, it's just gone too far. Hopefully in 2018 they'll fix it, but I don't know because they're being so quiet about it that I don't even know if they want to change it. But who knows, man? Because uh, uh, all I know is, you know, in order for people to succeed now, is that they have to make a Patreon and you know get people to donate money now I didn't want to have to get to that point myself either but I might have to make a patreon because again I wanted to make my YouTube my career also but again with the whole demonetization thing it's making it very hard for a person to make a living out of YouTube um, I don't know how, how it's gonna go down but um let me know now in the comments if I should make a patreon I'm really thinking about it because you know at this point we don't know what YouTube's yeah. gonna do they're just sitting on their asses yeah. while this thing is going down yeah. and I don't know if they're aware that they're ruining people's lives they, I, I don't. I really don't know if they 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 know or not. If they do know, they they can. They, they're scumbags. That that's fucked up. Y'all y'all really just are just sitting there while people have to basically give up their dreams of being you know big time YouTubers and they probably have to go back to like regular jobs and shit. Now if they don't know. They need to get a, a fucking clue. Somebody needs to fill them in and um, let them know that, look, <laughs> um, y'all need to fix this. This is ridiculous. This is redonkulous. This has gone far too long and y'all need to fix this job. Now, I know that certain channels are not advertiser friendly. I get that. We've seen certain channels where they, you know, put out a whole lot of negative content 
and um, you know stuff that really shouldn't be seen by the majority of the public let's be fair but certain other channels definitely don't deserve the monetization but apparently just about everybody's getting affected by it so that's all I'm saying like hopefully YouTube fixes something soon um, don't know when they'll fix it if they ever fix it but hopefully it'll be real soon <sighs> so that's that another thing I want to talk about is Cartoon Network 2017 I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because you know uh, I'm a huge Cartoon Network fan or at least I was um, Cartoon Network 2017 has been a bad year kind of an understatement though but um, Cartoon Network I've been watching Cartoon Network since I was a child. I am now 24. Um, I was watching Cartoon Network back when, you know, they were showing shows like Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the original Pop Up Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, um, all, all of those type of shows. Um, that was basically my childhood, right? And, and that was like the best time for Cartoon Network like late 90s early 2000s that was like prime good Cartoon Network even at, but and even you know when they started to die down a little bit the late 2000s they tried to add like live action shows and, and um, they had kind of average cartoons but they were still kind of decent cartoons you know I was still a Cartoon Network fan you know um, but recently very very recently this year they are doing the worst thing possible Teen Titans Go I made a rant about this show like a year or two ago and you can see now I you can definitely see why people hate this show and it used to be you it used to be the argument you hated the show because you know it was a disgrace to the original Teen Titans that was the main argument you heard about this show and that's the main argument I made about the show when I read it about it now the main argument is the main argument is is that it is the only thing being shown majority of the time on Cartoon Network Cartoon Network has dedicated all its time money and resources in Teen Titans Go not Adventure Time not OKKO OK not even uh, We Bear Bears or anything is Teen Titans Go, and I don't know if y'all have seen it already or not, but the schedule for Christmas into New Year's it's all it's a Teen Titans Go marathon. Oh my god, that is the worst schedule I've ever seen. Teen Titans go all the fucking time up until the new year. That is crazy. I, I I never thought I would see this much Teen Titans go, and that's why I, I can't at this point I cannot watch Cartoon Network. It's ridiculous. Um, Disney XD is doing a way better job. Nickelodeon is doing a decent job and you know Netflix is doing the best job um, I don't know what Cartoon Network's doing like you literally have all these shows in the vault 
that y'all could like pull out y'all asses and showcase on your channel and become great again okay for instance like there's a show called infinity train and there was a pilot for it on their youtube channel it has over 1 million views this show has the potential to be the next big thing on their channel you know after I, you know once all their other shows kind of go through their final seasons because Gumball and Adventure Time will be ending soon that's what that's what I heard so they need like another big cartoon that everybody can get with. and Infinity Train should be that one cartoon and it looks interesting off the pilot episode but for some reason Cartoon Network hasn't I, I don't know if they haven't greenlit it yet I heard they did but it's like are you guys gonna show it or what because this is a potential big-time show for you guys you can definitely get merchandise off of it and get big ratings off of it um, and, that, that, and that's just one show <coughs> um, there's another show that I saw called Victor and Valentino now I don't I personally don't think it will be as good as Infinity Train but it still looks like a good show off of the pilot that I saw fun little show uh, two I want to say Mexican brothers I, I hope I hope they're Mexican I, <laughs> I I always get it mixed up with Mexicans and Hispanics and whatnot but uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, two brothers basically are going on adventures in you know um, South America I think it's South America dealing with like demons and spirits and stuff it's it's a it was it's a potential good show also you guys should really check that out if you haven't seen the pilot for it um, so basically Infinity Train Victor Valtino the creator of Kids Next Door wants to make a sort of spin-off series or sequel series called The Galactic Kids Next Door. And he's been pitching at the Cartoon Network for a good minute now. And they've been denying him. And I'm the one that's like, why? Kids Next Door was one of your biggest shows back in the day. And the creator wants to do a spin-off slash sequel series. <coughs> And I think people will be interested in seeing it. Old fans and new fans. But the Cartoon Network is being so stupid that they don't even want to at least give it a chance. And there's a lot more stuff that I saw that they had that they could pull out the vault and be a great network again. But they're not doing it. They're just continuing to play Teen Titans Go and saying F you to the fans. Because <coughs> <coughs> at this point, I don't know what they're doing. You know, again, I get it. It's a business and you want to make the money, all the money you can. I get it. That's why Teen Titans Go it gets so much airplay. But it's the only thing that really gets airplay that's the problem and we need newer content newer vari variety and hopefully 2018 they'll see the error of their ways and <coughs> shit hopefully 2018 they'll see the error of their ways and become a good network again 
But until then, um, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, for uh, until that until that day happens, where they actually show great cartoons again, I will be watching Disney XD and Netflix because they are showing great shows. Especially this, you gotta give props to Disney XD also. They got Star vs. the Force of Evil. The show reruns of Gravity Falls, which is an awesome show if you haven't seen it. Uh, they just came out with a Big Hero 6 cartoon. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, the DuckTales reboot is definitely good. And then they have all the Marvel stuff. That's another thing Cartoon Network is, you know, messing up with. You have access to all the DC stuff that you want, that you want, but the only DC show that you're showing is Teen Titans Go. I don't get it. It's weird. But um, yeah, Cartoon Network this year has been terrible. So it's been about Teen Titans Go and nothing else really regular show ended and they hardly show any replays of it your biggest show this past your biggest show yeah. since it came into fruition like what 2011 2010 yeah. and you hardly even replay that yeah. it's crazy um Hopefully, 2018, the uh, president, Christina Miller, gets replaced. You know, um, somebody needs to get replaced because you need somebody who not only is a good business person, but also knows, you know, to think with their heart. And, and you know um, basically what I'm saying is you need somebody who not only is looking at the show shows that will earn the money but that will make people want to look at good content back in the day they actually cared about showing great cartoons nowadays they don't even care. They just want a money grab. Toys don't sell the way they used to. Let's be fair. Tetanus technology gets better. Toys are not as, you know, cool as they used to be. And that should not be the primary focus when you're doing cartoon shows but I guess I'll make like a separate video for that um, basically to wrap this up all I'm saying is I just want Cartoon Network to be great again like it used to be back in the day but you know they're doing their own thing so only time will tell we'll see and um yeah, if you guys want me to continue talking about Cartoon Network, I will make another video. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Comment what you thought about the topics I've talked about. And I will see you guys later. Thanks.